I don't know about you, but I've been absolutely obsessed with poke bowls since I went to Hawaii a couple of years ago. Like, I could eat poke bowls every day. My kids, on the other hand, have a different idea about the whole raw fish thing. You know, they're kids and they simply want crispy, breaded, flaky white fish. I don't blame them. To tell you the truth, these poke bowls come together in a matter of minutes and thanks to Gordon's Breaded Fish Fillets, our partners for today's video, and thanks to these easy poke bowls, my kids are learning to add more foods to the repertoire. So let me show you how I made these beautiful, colorful poke bowls. So the first thing we're going to do is place the fish fillets on a baking sheet and bake for 17 to 19 minutes, making sure to flip the fish halfway through. While those cook, I'm going to get the other ingredients ready. And you know what's great about this recipe? You can prep everything, and I mean everything, ahead of time. And while the fish cooks, all you have to do is take it out and set the table. All right, let's get back to showing you how these are made since I only have a couple of minutes while the fish cooks. I have some fresh pineapple chunks here that I want to chop really small. Fresh pineapple brings a hint of sweetness to this recipe you're going to love. After that, I'm going to peel and dice a cucumber. If your family doesn't mind the tougher skin, simply slice it with a knife or a mandolin. Or you could do half and half. I saved myself some time and bought matchstick carrots. If you have regular large carrots at home, I would suggest just grating them. The finer texture goes really well in a poke bowl. I also have some edamame that's been thawed out already. And a large bag of kale. And this kale is a bit too coarse for two out of my three kids that eat it. So I'm going to chop it a bit finer. You could also substitute the kale with mixed greens or even spinach. You might have noticed that the key here is to pair a variety of fresh, colorful foods with our main source of protein, Gordon's breadish fish. Together, I see it as a combination of something my kids love and a variety of foods that add nutrition. I have my rice in the rice cooker, but you can also prep it ahead of time. This is the perfect meal for a busy weeknight where you want to have everything ready in the fridge and only minimal cooking is required. I love to add some fresh cilantro over these poke bowls, so I'm going to chop some of that too. One last thing I feel completes this poke bowl is the sauce. I like to give my family a few sauce options. So here I have the traditional poke sauce that is used to marinate the fish, except I added some olive oil to turn it into a dressing since our fish is already cooked. It has soy sauce, garlic, rice vinegar, sesame oil, and olive oil. I'll make sure to link the recipe right below this video so you can get the exact measurements for this recipe and print it out. I also like to top my poke bowl with a spicy sriracha mayo that comes together by mixing some sriracha, mayonnaise, and a bit of water to thin it out. Another kid-friendly option is teriyaki sauce, by the way, so if you have that in the fridge, you can pull it out for this meal. Okay guys, the breaded fish is golden brown and crispy, so it's time to move it from the oven and let it cool slightly while I bring everything to the table. Assembling a poke bowl is really simple. Just layer on some rice, some of the kale, red cabbage, and remaining toppings you wanna use. I'm going to add a drizzle of our dressing and then place the fish on top. To finish it off, I'm going to add a bit more cilantro and drizzle the spicy sriracha mayo. What do you think? Would your family eat these poke bowls? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Now remember that the recipe is right in the description box below this video. And for more videos like this one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Discover all of Gordon's varieties of breaded fish over at gordons.com.